Hi, my name is Dr. Ben Ryan. I'm a neuroscience postdoc at Stanford University, and on the side, I make educational science videos on TikTok and other video apps. So I actually got into science communication by accident. I posted a video on TikTok early in the pandemic about how to wear a surgical mask because I saw people wearing them improperly. And the algorithm chose it and it blew up and I started getting lots of followers. And I realized this could actually be a really useful tool for communicating my science. And after just a few weeks of use, it became very clear that this was a really powerful and valuable resource. I was getting really good feedback and having a lot of young people tell me that they were becoming interested in science. So over time, I've adapted my channel to not just talk about cool scientific facts that anyone might be interested in, but specifically describing how to become a scientist and what it's like being a scientist for young people who are maybe interested in the field. So the truth is, I have a pretty difficult time discussing the use of animals in research because it's such a sensitive topic. I've made videos in the past about this, and I just seem to struggle with actually going and hitting the post button because I'm worried about what type of feedback I might get. But on a few occasions, I have hit the post button successfully, and I've gotten pretty good feedback. It's hard to talk about, but it's such an important topic, especially for science communicators, to be conveying to the layperson. If you're a science communicator and you're considering opening up about this topic, I would strongly recommend it. So as I said before, I didn't really decide on TikTok, it just kind of happened. But the truth is, TikTok has a really wide variety of users. A lot of people think that it's just kids, but there are plenty of adults, people of all different backgrounds, and a lot of different interests, many of them including science. The other good thing about TikTok is the algorithm. If you post a video about science on TikTok and you put in the caption, hashtag science or hashtag research, something like that, it will show that video to people who typically spend more time watching videos related to science. If you post good content, it's pretty easy to grow a following on TikTok because it shows it to all sorts of people all the time. One, find your purpose. After I first started my TikTok channel, I spent a very long time, probably six months to nine months, trying to figure out what exactly the purpose of my channel was and what people can expect from my channel. If you can start off knowing exactly what you want to talk about in your videos, for example, talking about the use of animal research, it will really help guide your channel and it'll keep you focused. Tip number two, just start. For many people, I think the hardest part of science communication is what I'm doing right now, which is pretty strange, speaking to a camera by myself. The more you practice this, the more comfortable it becomes. So just go ahead and try it, post a video, and just expect that you'll get better over time. Tip number three, have a thick skin. The internet is full of trolls. When people comment on your videos with something negative or mean, ignore it.